Puss is on Facebook too. You can put it on Facebook, anywhere, man. I don't care. I don't care today. You know what? How about this? Can y'all leave? Can y'all leave? Can y'all leave? Right. I work hard. Right. I work too hard. Let's go. Come on, Chris. Let's go. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing today? I hope that your day is going fine. If not, I hope tomorrow gets better. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to everyone who's tuning in to the videos. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, I ask that you go ahead and do so. And make sure to toggle that notification bell to stay current with all of the videos that we're posting. A video has went viral of a lady named Tisha Kennedy allegedly kicking out a mother and a son who has autism. I don't know much about autism to tell you the truth. And anything I say in this video is not meant to disrespect or offend anyone. But first, check out the video. Record me, I don't care. This is my event, ain't nobody running me today. You can, you can take your child, your, your child, and put him in a regular seat. I have no problem with him being at the table. But can you please just put him in a regular seat so that he won't be with the smaller kids? That's okay. all I'm asking. Okay, we I'm will. Begging. We will. Thank okay. you. I'm not, I'm, I would oh, never discriminate goodness. against nobody. Yeah, come it's on. It's white, black, purple up in here. Come, come, ADHD, come sit, everything. Up come sit down, sit down. That's all I'm asking. Thank you. I don't want no problem today. I work hard. Okay. I'm posting on Facebook too. You can put it on Facebook okay. anywhere, man. I don't care. I don't care today. You know what? How about this? Can y'all leave? Can y'all leave? Can y'all leave? All right. I work hard. All right. I work too hard. Let's go. Come on, Chris. Let's go. I will. I will. I will. Yeah. Let's go. No, no, no. No, we'll go. Bye. No, no, no. No, no. I know y'all understand. Yeah, but come on. It's not y'all. No, no. Okay. Come on. Thank you. No. I know. I'm not making it. She made the scene, okay? I didn't say that. Come here. God bless you. Y'all have a baby. Baby. Come on. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Yeah. That's okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. I am. All right. I don't know. Drop your comments in the comment section. It's obvious and, and it's clear that we can point out the bad. The things that shouldn't have been done. You didn't have to address that situation over the microphone. So everybody can hear it. But also, we don't know what led up to this interaction. We don't know what took place. We don't know what happened. We have very little information of what made this transpire. Obviously, it was something because the lady was recording on Facebook Live. Like, obviously, it was something. I, I don't know. But whatever it was, at first glance, it pisses you off because it, all you hear is autism and the child getting kicked out and you see this lady upset kicking the kids and the mom out or asking them to leave. Now, I went on this lady page. She has a foundation that um, she helped give uh, support for young teenage mothers because she said that she was uh, a young teenage mother. But allegedly... That has been shut down. She's closed down her website. She, you can't find her on social media. And I, I think people have, have really been attacking her behind, behind this. Now, to defend her, I have to say, I kind of hear what she was asking. She was asking if the kid could be put at another table away from the younger kids. Now, I don't know much about autism. And I don't know what the triggers are for autism. But is there a reason that she needed to move that kid away from the other kids? Now, if you, if you look, if you look at this young boy, he's not a small guy. Compared to the other kids there, he looked like a grown man. But it's something else that I caught. If you listen to him as he's walking out that door and he's on that phone, you can hear that something is not what we would call functioning normal, okay? And I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to say nothing disrespectful. But you can hear something in his voice if you listen. And so that made me think about, 
I don't know if this all the same, but it made me think about people who have it, mental issues. Is it the same with autism that if a person have a trigger that they can be extremely strong? Is that why she don't want them close to the younger kids? But to me, to be honest, it looked like he just moved over one seat. I don't know. So it looked like he was still at the same table. So I'm not really understanding what made this transpire. But if we're just taking it from what we see on social media, we can, we can analyze this a lot of different ways. And most people are outraged because all they heard was woman kicks autistic child and mom out of event. So, and a lot of people were saying that uh, she says she don't discriminate, but that's exactly what she's doing. And I felt that way a little bit too, because I'm thinking that if an autistic child operates in a certain mental capacity, is that really like a threat? I don't know, you know, so these are the questions that I have. I, I just don't know about the, the condition. I don't know about those on the, on the spectrum. But as much as I can, I'm trying not to be biased. But as much as I can, I'm also trying to be cautious because we don't know the real effects. And a lot of times people say that people with conditions get treated differently, and they do because we really don't know how to interact with them. And I don't think that that's a bad thing that we're cautious of how we interact because what if we do something to trigger your child? What if we do something to cause them to have an episode? We don't know. So I think that I understand that parents want us to... Um, recognize and accept that if they have a child with the condition that we should treat them regular, but we need to know how. We need to know what to and what not to do. And I get why some people distance themselves because in my mind, I don't want to do nothing that can cause harm. Now, am I wrong for that? Or am I being cautious and trying to make sure you have the best experience? You know, I'm not trying to make you feel outcasted or like, I don't want to be a part of you, but it's a lot of lack of understanding that we don't know about when it comes to dealing with people with conditions. Because a lot of times, people don't bring them out. And if you look back in the days, if you had a person in your... Well, I know for the black community, I can't say about everybody, but if you had a person with a condition, most of the time, people kept them locked in the room. And that's the truth. You can't sit here and tell me I'm lying, because I've seen it. Sometimes you didn't even know people had other kids that had conditions because you never saw them. So, I just think this video says a lot about um, openness and communication that people need to know how to have to dealing with people with conditions. Because I'm me, myself, I would never want to make somebody feel bad. But at the same time, I would also want to make sure that everybody is safe. And that if we're in a, in a place where uh, people with um, conditions are that we don't do anything that can trigger them or have them cause them to have a, a, an a episode. That's just where I'm at with it. But if what we're really looking at is how she handled it, I believe that was wrong. And I believe that she could have handled it different. She didn't have to be on that microphone doing like that. So I don't know. I mean, hopefully more will come out about this story, but I, I just don't think that was right. Anyway, let me know how you feel. Drop it in the comment section. Until the next time, peace.